I'm Maddie Matheson. This is Keep a Canada. This is Jesse Vergen, the best chef in St. John, New Brunswick. He is the owner and proprietor of the Smoking Pig Real Pit. We're gonna have some barbecue. And on the same property, we got a driving range. I'm gonna hit some balls. This is Keep a Canada. Hit my balls. Oh shit. <laughs> How do you do this? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Smoke her like she's laughing at you. Move closer. Dig deep, dig deep. <laughs> Holy fuck, you Look smack at that. Smack that. Do you see that? What was I talking about? First fucking hit. So New Brunswick has a big place in my heart because one, I was born here, two, my grandparents live here, three, my aunt and uncle live here. That's my family, I love family. You know, it's my home away from home and um, it's very important to me coming back to the homeland where I was born. The agriculture, the, uh, the people, this time around was a very big eye opener of what really New Brunswick was, you know? New Brunswick is not only my birthplace, it's one of the most beautiful maritime provinces in Canada. We touched down in the capital city, St. John, but we spent most of our time traveling around the beautiful countryside. So the first thing I had to do as soon as I got here was go meet up with my really good buddy, Jesse. Jesse is my spirit guide to New Brunswick. He's going to take us around the province to ride on his boat, eat at his barbecue spot, hang out at his farm, where I'm going to do something I've never done before. If you, if you can hit it into the woods, you just gotta give up the cooking? Yeah. Career Go right off. Yeah. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I'm not a golfer, as you can see. I'm uh, more of a swimmer. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it, was, it was really cool and fun. I haven't golfed. I think I golfed once on acid, you know? Ah, fuck! Stung the mitt. Whoa! <laughs> I was doing the, the, the Billy Madison, you know? Yes, sir! <laughs> PGA! I'm gonna go eat some barbecue. Jesse is the only guy who has a barbecue spot on a driving range, but it's because his family owns the land. He's a weird guy, and I like it. He's got this old railway cart that he's transformed into like the kitchen and where he sells everything. Butts. Woo! And then he's got this big Southern Pride barbecue trailer. So what do we got here? So we got, uh, these are pork butts, and we coat it with butt rub. So like a traditional brown sugar sort of cure. That's brisket. Yeah. They've been smoking all night. Do sort of like a straight mustard slather. The smoke is there, and it's fucking still moist. We want to do some Texas style, if we want to, you know, mix the Carolinas up. We're doing what we want. In the States, it's sacrilegious. If you're from, from Texas, you can't do North Carolina, but in Canada, we're kind of free of those uh, barbecue chains. Right? Yeah, this is like the wild, wild north of barbecue. Yeah. You know, we're not tied down by any of the uh, traditions that they have down there, so we can go like buck wild and make a higher level of barbecue. Well, let's eat this. Let's put yeah. this on a bun or something. Well, let's, uh, let, let's get some. I brought some uh, eggs in from the farm. You know, it's early in the morning. We just pulled the butts out. Yeah. Nothing's better than a little breakfast barbecue action. Let's do it. All right. I love breakfast barbecue. You can tell the good quality of a farm fresh egg. Let's we'll get some poop on it. Yeah, right. if your eggs doesn't have poop on it, you're buying dirty ass eggs. Oh, this beautiful chorizo. My suit is uh, whipped up. Absolutely beautiful stuff. She does brisket, butts, does baked beans. Bread, we coat it in sugar, you know, keep it fun. So this is the stuff that we take off the bottom of the uh, smoker. It's like pork fat and we mix it with the molasses. This right here is what we call the molecular gastronomy. Breakfast, brother! What? 
get some side dippings and some sweet potato salad for some fiber. Yeah. Because once you get all that meat in there, you're gonna it, need. You need some fiber to push her out, you know? Mm. Well, let's get to it. This is pretty unreal. That brisket's mental. Oh my god. Put some beans on there. I haven't been to fucking Texas, but whatever. This is the best barbecue I've ever had, man. Their cornbread's almost like 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 angel food cake or some shit. It's like covered literally in sugar. Or oh, uh, coat that shit, we're eating sugar. <laughs> this is like one of the best breakfasts I've ever had. I hate regular breakfast, you know? Mm. You should just be able to eat the food that you want to eat at any time of the day. That's that new shit. That's that new, new diet. Mm -hmm. Jesse Bergen, barbecue lord, breakfast king, cornbread queen. The royal family's here. Jesse is one of those chefs and, and people who live life to the fullest. So we got to go out on his boat. We're going to see Candace, king of caviar, who is so obsessed with sturgeon, he is a PhD from Paris and Romania in sturgeon itself. We're here at the St. John River, and today I'm gonna to shoot a 12 gauge shotgun off a fucking boat. You ever shoot a gun before? Probably, because you guys are psychopaths. Bang, bang! Welcome to the St. John River. I got my flippy floppies, I got my towel. Shout out to the river gods. It's just beautiful, like the river system here is like, that like it's not advertised because everybody just loves it so much, right? It's yeah. sort of like this hidden secret. So I got to shoot a gun for the first time ever. It was painted cool. Okay, the first thing about gun safety is always control your muzzle. You do not want to be pointing your muzzle at anybody unless you want something to die. I only want the sky to die today. Okay. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Oh, fuck it. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> and that right there is a 12 gauge shotgun with three and a half hear. black cloud. Little bruise. Fear the gun. Fear Respect the man. So I got to meet up with an old friend on this trip, Cornell, the king of caviar. This man is a sturgeon scientist. He's out here in this beautiful bay somewhere on St. John River. I'm about to go see if this caviar is legit or not because obviously I ate tons of caviar. We're here at the uh, Acadian Sturgeon and Caviar Incorporated. We're about to meet uh, Cornell and his wife. Uh, we got to step in this bio-friendly water here to get into the sturgeon party. Hey! Hey, what's up, Cornell? Matthew, so How good are to see you. you? Good to see you too, man. This guy is one of the best people in the world. Sturgeon is the king of fish, and this is the best sturgeon you can have anywhere in the world. I can promise you, you are in for a treat today. Can we get dressed up like you? Yeah, definitely, but you will. Yeah. No, no, because I cannot get you in. So, Jesse, do you prefer uh, cover also, or do you prefer... Uh, I have also, like, lab coats. Uh... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Red rave. Yeah. <laughs> Nice blue gloves to cover your nice hands. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's roll! We saw where they deep freeze the fresh meat. Holy cow. Some people ask yeah. me, you know, oh, it has to flake, fish is flaking. This is different. It's almost like, you know, it's like a terrestrial. Like animal. a steak. It's like a steak, yeah. He's, he's making pâtés out of it. He's taking the bone marrows. This is like gas bladder. There's no waste on this sturgeon, you know? Those are male gonads. Okay. This yeah. is the sperm sacks of sturgeon right here. Yeah. I'm selling those to Italy for cosmetics, if you can believe it. Really? Yeah. In Italy, they like to take sperm sacks from the St. John River and put it all over their face. Shout out to Italy. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh. That's a smoker. Yeah, that's a little smoker. This is the beauty. Feel that skin, it's like, it's it's tough. It's not like the, like like Jesse's pork butt. Like, you could take that and like rip that off. This will chunk off, but you want to take this and actually slice it. And you can see the firmness on this, right? It is firm, but at the same time, it's so beautiful. It's oh, so, look at this. Look at that. Look, oh, I'm salivating, Jan. It's amazing. It's almost like has the consistency of like lobster. In a weird way? Yeah. Or like a sweet bread? I've been studying them and working with them for 25 years. Uh, yeah, I did a PhD in sturgeon biology, actually. 
I work with so one. PhD. This guy's got a PhD in one fish. If everyone out in the world was happy doing what they did, they'd be living that Cornell life. You don't got that Cornell life. You are going to see in the storage room. Yeah. You know, in the vault. Look there. We got a camera. We got locks. That only means one thing: caviar. One, three, two, one, go. Boom. Oh. That's a lot of caviar. One fridge like this, probably $150,000, $200,000. The big things that I told you about, 1.8 kilos. This one, retail, retail about $4,000. This is $4,000. Retail. All my fans out there need to know what it tastes like, so I need to eat some. Of course. Please. Everybody has to eat some, and Everyone. then they will get hooked. He's coming, the caviar master. The caviar master. The caviar master, yeah. <laughs> The best caviar, actually, that you can try in your life, anybody, like even Petrosian or anybody you know that knows caviar, yeah. is when you open one of those big tins. There we go. Holy fuck. And you open it. $4,000 worth of caviar, brother. Look at this. That's the money shot. Isn't this beautiful? You kind of scoop in the middle and you take the middle of the, of the tin. That's kind of, you know, the, the cream of the cream, the cherry. Right. Go a little bit like this. You go in the, in the middle and take a good spoon. Like that much? That's a lot of spoon, but that's okay. I go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> just hold it, hold it. Just, you know, warm it up a little bit and crush the eggs. And I'll put your here on the hand. Oh, yeah. That's it. And then like this, we can, we can all have some. Oh, oh, oh. How is it, man? Right here with one spoonful, you can kind of start to understand what these guys are putting in with their dedication, their lives. And love. And, and you love. have to put love in everything. Love in know? everything. <laughs> More? Yeah, no, it is, uh, you know, I'm again, I'm blessed to you know to work with those fish. Cornell's about that caviar life. I'm about that caviar life. We saw the tanks where he grows all of the sturgeon. That's the place. That's where the sturgeons are born. This is it, the baby sturgeons. They need to grow for years, right? They need to grow about 10 years until they are harvested. 10 years? 10 years. Wow. So this is three months old. So this guy is a long way away. He's got a long, nice life ahead of him. And uh, look at this little guy, he's like a fucking dinosaur. Yeah. From egg to prehistoric fucking eight foot motherfuckers. No, you are small, go out, get out. I'll leave this one go, and I'll take this white one. Look at the belly, yeah. beautiful. She has two, those marks are, I do a biopsy, like to check the eggs. Oh, they're so twice strong. Twice a year. Oh yeah. And here they have surgery marks, you see that was from C-section. Okay. You see that, you see, it's like, yeah, yeah. we sutured them back. You see, this is the mouth, look at the mouth, is like, a, it comes out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make like a, apply some pressure, you know, yeah, kind of yeah. uh, hold it. Yeah, get him up there. Okay, there we go. It's heavy. There you go. How was it? That's awesome, man. <laughs> that's that's awesome. quite an experience. Yeah, quite, man, you know, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's a complete lifestyle and passion. Him and his wife do an amazing job. He's a, he's a special person to have here in New Brunswick. We're here at the Birch Grove in St. George, New Brunswick. This is my mom, Joan, she's beautiful. This is my aunt, Iris, she's beautiful. I'm beautiful. We're gonna eat some deep fried clams. Check this out. Check these guys out. They're both married, fuck off. <laughs> I'm so excited about this, I love I coming here. I haven't been here since uh, last summer. So I'm from New Brunswick and- So are we. And they're from New Brunswick. My aunt here, Iris, she still lives in Fredericton. You know, I won't say the address because no one wants to go pay her a visit. <laughs> when we were kids, me and my brothers, we were like pretty much shitheads, right? And we used to call her house the museum. It was like this meticulously like groomed house with like all this whatever the 
She's, she's got like nice stuff, I guess. She would like not let us touch the walls, and then like we'd who have to- Who touches the walls? Well, that's it, like who touches the walls? Nobody touches well, the walls. Well, when you're running around a corner, you touch a wall you. to like- At Iris- You let yourself fall. At Iris's house, you don't even make toast, because it makes crumbs. No, yeah, that's not you, true. You, we weren't allowed to have breakfast, so, so they don't even have food. So you'd go to their house yes, and you couldn't did. eat. We used to think she was a bitch, and because <laughs> we weren't allowed to touch her walls and we had to sleep in the basement on these like cots. We got the, the seafood platter. Oh, oh, that looks oh, great. Thank you so much. $29. So we got clam bellies, deep fried clam bellies. Well, everything's deep fried. We got beautiful scallops here. We got like beautiful, beautiful haddock. Caught locally every morning. <laughs> I would charge myself like 80 bucks for that plate of food. 100%. And we, the best thing ever too is this. This is what makes it all good. Crinkle cut french fries with the two beautiful ladies here. My mom, my Auntie Iris, and crinkle cut french fries. <laughs> Shout out to Joni, Joan Mom, Mom Zone. <laughs> <laughs>
So we got to finally finish off with a big, amazing meal. Uh, did a bit of a potluck. All right, so I'm here at Jesse's house. We're about to make something beautiful, something that means a lot to me. This is a very traditional Acadian dish called Rappi Pie. I got a chicken stock here that I fortified with rabbits from Jesse's farm and leeks from his garden. And I'm about to add something that I've never added before to this dish. And that's some foie gras from uh, La Ferme de Mont. Du, du diamant. Du gamin. Du diamant. Du diamant. Rappi pie is nothing without this potato. This potato has been grated and all of the moisture has been brought out of it. And you're just gonna gradually add pretty much all of this liquid. This is super New Brunswick, eh? Yeah. <laughs> this is like Nouveau Brunswick. So now I'm gonna throw in a bunch of the rabbit. Oh yeah, get all those leeks. I got you, John. Those are hot chef, thank you. So I'll cut up Adrian's uh, foie. I'm gonna add that. Okay, we need some Newfoundland salt. My mom said not to make it too salty, but I like salt. And uh, that's gonna bake for about two, two and a half hours. We took that lamb, we gave it a quick rub, we grilled it on the barbecue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some curry on it and then I'm gonna place it on top of all that aromatics. Uh, my mom, my aunt, a bunch of people came in and we had a beautiful potluck up at the farm. bringing everyone together. You know, I'm visiting these people separately and to have them all come together was, uh, it's always great. We slaughtered a lamb. We're gonna feed people that we love. We have rappi pie, something that's very dear to me. Uh, we got caviar from Cornell. This is what Keepa Canada is. This is life and death. And now we're gonna try the lamb for the very first time. You killed that. <laughs> that's amazing. I'm happy. This lamb is very happy. Bah. Keep a Canada. I'm out. Eat food or die. New Brunswick is my favorite province because I was born here. If you weren't born here, then you weren't born at all because you ain't living. I'm Maddie Matheson. This is Keep a Canada. What's up? Ah!